All right, so first things first, let's get the colors right. Now, I already, as you know, I already built this thing, so we're just gonna copy a little bit of the colors because I just really like those colors that I used. All right, and we're gonna also copy the shadows and whatever, but we're gonna do it here. All right, so let's just set up the CSS. I'm gonna get quiet for a bit. And yeah. I use reset CSS because it's nice. I think you already know what I use as CSS. Reset CSS. All right, so what we're going to do is create, first of all, a canvas. So that will be canvas, like this. Canvas is a tag of HTML, right? We're gonna give this canvas an ID. Let's just do JS canvas. On the previous video, I was using a lot of class names. In this one, we can use IDs. Many people were confused over this, so I'm just gonna do it IDs, uh, like that, all right? Just to show you that it doesn't matter what you get, cam uh, IDs or classes, whatever but I'm going to style everything with classes. So I'm going to use IDs when I work on JS and I'm going to use canvases when I work on, I'm going to use IDs when I work on JS and I'm going to use classes when I work on CSS. All right. Perfect. Now that'll be my canvas. Very simple. Let's come here. Right now, canvas. I'm gonna give it a width of 500 pixels, um, height of 500 pixels. There we are, it's too small, 700. Better. Now let's give it a border radius of 10 pixels. maybe more pixels, 15 pixels. And there is a shadow that I used. I really like that shadow. So I'm just gonna copy paste it. Let me see something. Oh, oh, all right. Here it is. Done. Beautiful. All right, so that'll be my canvas. Beautiful, beautiful canvas. Now, what I want to do is to create the colors. Let's create the, um, no, we have to create the controls first, right? So let's create the controls. Let's do, um, right in here, colors first, and I'm going to create uh, color ID colors. I'm gonna create maybe how many of them? I took these colors from Apple, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Times nine. Done. Right, so the idea would be that I wanna get JS colors and then I wanna get controls color for each one of them. Right, perfect. 
Now I need to add a background color uh, to each one of them. And I'm gonna do it here. The reason why I wanna do it here is because they're all different, right? So I don't wanna have to do it on CSS, like color one, color two, color three. I just rather do it here, right? That's why. Style, sorry about that. And here we go. So I'm just gonna say first one is black. Is it black though? Yeah, this is black as fuck. Let's just not make it so black. Let's make it 2Z2C2C. That's kind of black. Second one is white. Okay, third one is kind of red. Okay, copy, paste it, done. Fourth one. Done. 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 All right. Eh, what, what's up? Okay, we're done. Bravo. Now let's give the controls a little bit of style so let's do controls color controls color um width of 50 pixels i don't know how much height of 50 pixels i'm gonna just copy paste this shadow and let's see look at that beauty perfect but now we need to make the controls, controls colors, display, flex. Boom, perfect. And now controls should have a margin top of 50 pixels. Kaboom. Maybe more 80. Kapoosh. Perfect. And I don't know if you know this, but to make something a circle, you have to give it a border radius of half of the width, so 25 pixels. Kaboom. And we're done. Now, cursor, pointer. Perfect. Awesome. And that's it. What else do we need? Uh, we also need the buttons. I'm gonna make the buttons on the next video. I will see you there. For now, just set up, set up, set up, set up. Okay. See you in the next one. Bye bye.